All right, so I'm recording this uh, Odin's Day message, which will have some runes. Um, we'll pull some runes here. Um, yeah, it's been it's been a it's been a time here where I'm at. We had some tornadoes in the area. And there's just a lot of, there was so much air energy leading up to that, a lot of solar energy leading up to that. Uh, and there's so much water energy today um, mixed in with still a ton of solar energy and the new moons. There's a lot going on. So just the first thing I want to say is if you're, if you're feeling a lot, if you're sensing a lot, well, yeah, it's, it's because it's really there. And, um, you know, the winds, the winds blow and knock things over sometimes, um, that happens. And, um, you know, so there's, there's people hurting here in, in the local area where I am. And, um, you know, it's just, um, if you're, if you're very empathic, if you're sensitive, you're going to pick up on that. And especially if you've been going through this, this huge shift in awareness that many of us are undergoing, then those types of things are going to impact you. So uh, you can see I'm here out in the woods. Out in the woods. And yeah, I mean, I had to get out here and do some grounding today. There's just too much. Um, I'm just, uh, there's just too much coming through. I'm channeling so much and um, yeah, it was just absolutely necessary. So oh, shifting positions here a bit, ah, here we go. Um, so yeah, um, you know, out in the woods, got my bare feet on, <laughs> little joke. Uh, and yeah, just really trying to let the energies flow down and out. Um, and yeah, I'll be, um, you know, just trying to pick up on the, the very quiet wisdom of the trees. I've probably said this before, you know. You know that you are hearing from a tree when it's very calm, very like a low kind of rumbly thing. Um, I recommend, you know, just going up to a tree and, you know, you know, put a hand on the tree and just wait. Um, just wait. Let any question in your mind out. Even speak it aloud if you want. You don't have to. It's not how magic works. <laughs> It is not about having to speak. Otherwise, people who are unable to speak could not do magic. And let me tell you, that ain't true. That ain't true. Not at all. In fact, opposite. In any case, yeah. Let, let the tree speak to you. And it will be, you'll know, because it will be simple. A word, two words rarely do I ever get anything even like a sentence. It's just so you'll get one or two words and it will cut right to the heart of whatever it is that's going on with you. Maybe even something you don't even know because a tree can sense that. A tree can sense that. Weird. <laughs> Trees are so energetically tuned. Um, they, yeah. You walk up to one and it, it knows you. <laughs> it knows you in a way that you'd be surprised. And without any judging, without any judging, with a sure confidence um, in, in their own rootedness, right? So this is leading me to talk a little bit about Odin you know, there's a, a card in the tarot, the Hanged Man, and Odin himself underwent a hanging, right? Being, being hung for a long amount of time, 
depending on the different stories. I think it may, might vary a little bit, but that doesn't really matter. It's, you know, it's very much the same picture as, you know, Jesus on the cross in some ways. Um, there are things you can see up there that you can't see from anywhere else. And so with this, you know, pulling a couple of runes, we are inviting that in today. Um, that Odin energy in to say, okay, what what is it? What is it that um, we need to know about the energy that's going on? And it's, again, it's, uh, I keep saying this, but I, I guess I'll keep saying it. Um, <laughs> I don't know, probably. Um, pulling runes, pulling cards, tarot or oracle cards is, is much, 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 much less about um, you know, divining a specific future thing and is more about uh, understanding the, the energies going on, right? That there are energies at work. Okay, so that's what's mo most important and this has been coming through a lot this week so I'm being prompted to say it. Uh, really be careful with readings online that just... Um, <sighs> are just all about, you know, romance and when is this person going to come in and when is this person going to talk to you and yada, 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 yada. It's just, there's a very, um, and it's not that I think people giving those readings necessarily mean it in a toxic way, but um, there is a toxic relationship that can develop with that. So um, it's just really been coming in. I, I've actually been hearing a couple of, of, of readers that I, that I do listen to who don't tend to talk about romance type stuff and uh, just really um, that's been coming in for them it's been coming in for me um, it's really important because you know those types of or a fixation on that type of thing can put you in um, a spirit of fear and worry and that is not what we're attempting to do right now we're attempting to rise above fear and worry and bring in a new world from a place that is not, you know, being grounded in the impulses of fear and worry, which are negative mindset, negative heart set, um, negative dreams, negative imaginings. Um, and so we're, we're really, we're, that's, that's, that's our battle right now. Okay? In the face of atrocious things going on in the world, I'm not saying that means you have to look at the bright side of atrocious things going on in the world. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying you shouldn't work against atrocious things in the world. In fact, it's the exact opposite. If we actually get, if we actually get to this more positive space in our heart minds, get that connection between the heart and mind going, and then get into that space of living from there, of grounding things down, of grounding the energy that's freely available to all. See, we, if, we're, if you're alive on this planet, there is fire energy coming down from above, coming down through you, into you, all the time. All the time. You can recognize that or not recognize that. You can work with that or not work with that. You can do negative things with that, okay? And this is when we think of like black magic or we think of negative magic, right? That is what that is, okay? And it's not about, again, it's not about spells or using, you know, runes or um, that's not what makes black magic black magic. What makes it what it is, is the status of your heart and mind. Is it ill will towards someone? Is it hate? Is it dejection and worry and fear? Is it, you know, all these things, all these spaces where, yes, we, we, we all fall into those emotions at times. But are you staying there? And are you grounding things into life that way? And are you projecting that outward in your thoughts towards others? Okay? That matters. That matters. Don't do that. Get away from doing that. Okay? myself been a victim of that much of my life and you know when you finally get away from that um, it will change everything for you so that's a big part of what this is all about all right let's pull some runes and I've already shaken them up a bit I'm gonna be one-handed today because 
So I typically am going to pull three. Okay, three just... I was going to pull them one at a time, but these three are like, nope. These are the ones. Oh, that one's first. Okay, let's see what we've got first. And the eye. The eye. Yeah, again, there's this sense of uh, being seeking, seeking a higher place to look from. Uh, if that's what's coming through. Seek a higher place to look from, a higher place in yourself. See, Odin hung up in the tree is symbolic. You don't need to hang yourself up in a tree. I mean, maybe that'll work for you if it happens to happen, but um, I wouldn't suggest it. That's not the point. Higher perspective in yourself. And when I say higher, we have to be careful because this is not, it's not in a sense of, oh, the, the lower emotions and the, the lower chakras, the lower energy centers and things like this are bad. And therefore you must get into your higher energy centers because that is where goodness is. That's bull crap. Okay. You need energy flowing all through you. You need all your energy centers lit up and flowing. That That is, if you're listening to this and you have not done that work, that is job one, period. That is job one, okay? If you're at all intrigued or curious about what I'm doing and want to join in with it and want to join your energy to it, that is job one. And what's going to happen is again a lot of clearing out and there are many things you can do to to help this along many practices um and you know i i'm hoping to um you know bring people on actually to talk about some of these things in the future um because i think that's really important that we hear from lots of different voices and we we are become aware of lots of different practices also, we need to be care, uh, careful of practices. Let me let me be uh, someone who has seen things and heard things and knows things and is seeing um, from a higher, hopefully a higher place right now. My, my heart mind is very much uh, in tune with a certain message and that is be very careful online. You know, there's a lot of practitioners online who are, you know, you know, giving information much like I am, but, you know, um, you can fall into some practices that will damage you, that will damage your person. So if something doesn't feel right or if it starts affecting your health negatively, I'm especially thinking of certain more physical practices, uh, practices of diet, of uh, fasting, of uh, uh, just extreme body things. Like, you need to really be careful with those types of things. And if you're working out with those types of things, you really need to know who you're working with. And you, you, sh you should have some kind of face-to-face -face with that person and, and really know what's going on with them. Don't just be getting information off the internet and, and running through that stuff yourself. Um, you, you need to be working with a practitioner, okay? It's just come up specifically in you know um around me and it's just it's it's coming up right now something that is very important to know okay that being said do do seek out practices that speak to you that 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 fuel you and and help you with your your energy centers and help get you up to that point where you're living from your heart mind okay and you're living from that juncture, right? And the throat's right in the middle there, right? The throat chakra is not just about speaking or writing or communicating um, in verbal type ways, right? Um, it's more than that. The throat chakra is about enacting things in the world. See, this is the real meaning of, of words are wands. Words are spells. Words make magic happen in the real world. It's not about actually speaking, only that. It's about enacting things out in the world, okay? So this can mean a lot of things. It could mean going out to a forest and 1444 on the time, it could be coming out to the forest and just, you know, inviting this 
natural space in and what is it going to teach you and you don't even know until you get out here right it could be that it could be lots of different things all right I need to move on this is starting to get a little long I'm trying to keep these a little shorter we have the star and the star energy has been coming through a lot we had again we had big storms here last night and um late night after the storms the stars all came out like the sky just went absolutely clear um so we went from t literal tornadoes um you know ripping buildings apart um to the stars out and that was um yeah that was something so the star energy i'm just i'm really picking up on and I, this is usually what I pick up on, so this is kind of my go-to, but I'm just, I mean, my head's buzzing with it. Um, picking up on the ancestors are speaking, okay? They're speaking, they are around us. And this, and um, I've heard others talk about this, and it's very important, this does not necessarily mean your own family members. It could be, it could be recovering uh, your family members, even even folks who pass on, who maybe did things that you know about and that you don't agree with, or that even hurt you, but coming to some kind of peace with that, right? See, there's still energy in the world from people who've passed on, and that energy lives in us, and especially it lives in those of us who are closest to those people. And even if it was someone negative in your life, like that, um, that you've kind of cut out of your life or whatever, that that energy is going to live there and until you deal with it and work with it and so and so what this is this rune is right now is an invitation to do that work okay and to then because when you engage in that work you're i truly believe this you're going to start finding that your ancestors come in and it's not going to just be you know grandma and grandpa or great grandma and great grandpa or a great uncle or great aunt or you know all these types of things um, you know, younger folks in your family who, who departed early, you know, this type of stuff. It's, it's not going to just be that. It's going to be your star ancestry coming in, okay? And that means ancient, ancient earth, um, beyond ancient earth, way, way back. That's wanting to come in for many of us, Okay. And um, yeah, that's that's coming in super strong right now. And then this this rune has already showed itself. We have the rune of the feminine energy. And so there's this there's just this there's this sense now of just calming, of calming, and embodiment of seeking out what soothes you, and that's okay. I, I'm just, I'm getting a sense, again, I know this is what I was feeling today, too. There's a lot of just personal things feel shaken up, right? S storms of life have been coming through, and, and there's just a lot of sense of that, like things being shaken up, things being maybe difficult, uncertain, or whatever. So, so um, find that feminine energy in yourself. Soothe yourself. Um, and... You know, don't don't overdo it, but but find find what you need for yourself and give yourself that. It's okay and it's good. And you're, you're, there's this funny thing that I've realized um, when I'm most aware of my ancestors is very often when I am <laughs> soothing myself in different ways, taking care of myself. That's when they come in and they talk. Like that's when they um, they're like, hey, you're quiet hey you can hear me <laughs> you know you might be out for a swim or out for a walk or taking a bath or whatever um it it, it could be just about anything but it's usually you know apart from screens and apart from you know maybe normal daily things happening like you just slow down a little bit and you could be exercising could be lots of things so that's coming in and then the one last thing that's coming in is i'm just going to pan around a little bit this area i don't know if you'll be able to pick up on it this area in the woods here underwent a controlled burn recently 
so there's a lot of and it's kind of already kind of coming back if you will there's stuff growing and, and you know and the rains have happened so a lot of the soot has been washed away um, but there's still some like you know burnt burnt uh, limbs and things and you know I'm, I'm sure this was done for reasons of um, you know before a, an uncontrolled fire could break out which I was actually concerned about in this area last year and it, again if you want to know what trees care about if they when they do get worried um, it's very often fire <laughs> I've met a couple of trees that are, are just worried about like uh, I, hope, I hope lightning doesn't strike here because I'm toast um, that type of thing but um, yeah their trees have many personalities um, some of the younger ones haven't seen as much as these older ones who have so much wisdom and just seem to be so strong in themselves but anyway um, I guess what's coming through with that uh, I don't guess I know is that you know sometimes these these energetic releases happen sometimes human beings cause them sometimes they happen as a you know just a an event that happens um, you know forest fires can happen by themselves again lightning can strike and start a fire and so on it's not always that way sometimes it's human caused it doesn't matter and that's the that's the mat the message that's coming through is when these types of things happen and sometimes it's human cause or sometimes it's like a tornado right that's not necessarily human cause we can talk about the climate changing and uh, the increase of such things, which is, you know, factually correct, um, that those things are happening more. Um, but in any case, um, energy is released when these things happen. Energy is released. And the, the energy that is released can be way more nuanced than what you think this is going to be starting to come up more and more in my messages <sighs> at 22 minutes here which is important for me 22 22 things like the forest fires that happened last year release lots of energy the energy of living things of things that had long died and you know, were on the ground and got burnt up and, you know, turned back into the and into energy in a lot of ways. The message that has been coming through is for those of us who are sensitive to these things and we were we were upset when the forests were burning last year and, and we would see the smoke over the skies from hundreds of miles away. Understand that while on one hand, yes, that was a lot of that last year is a warning to us. It really truly is about our behaviors. Also, there are sometimes unintended consequences that are good consequences. So much energy was released and we're encouraged to go to these places this year. We are encouraged to go to these places because the energies were enlivened and released and there will be new growth in these places, okay? There will be a, a newness, a freshness there. And this uh, it's a cooling breeze comes through out of nowhere. Has not been, there's not been a breeze. Guys, the, that's, this is a truth, okay? It's a knowing that I have. Um, I'm encouraging folks who uh, live close to these places to go there. Just, just be in the space. Just be in the space. Just soak in the energies. You may you may hear things. You may become to know things that you would not have otherwise. Maybe not. It isn't necessary, okay? Because while and I, I keep talking about the importance of grounding things into place on the earth plane, like if if we really want to see a new earth, and there's actual actions have to happen, actual changes and developments in, in social structures and in, in how we do things in the world and all kinds of things leadership has to get thrown out clearly so much leadership has to get thrown out this is real work that has to happen but that's not for everyone and who i'm talking to that may not be you and 
and this has been coming through that I need to say this, okay? That may not be you, and that doesn't mean that there's nothing for you to do or that what you have to do is less than. It may be that for you, the thing to do is to hold space, to keep your energy at a certain place, to, to raise your energies, raise the, 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 the tuning for the frequencies, okay, of your energy centers. That may be all, all that, that you're supposed to do at this point. And it's, it's, and I don't say that in a way, that's all that you do. No, that is huge. If you do that, that is huge, okay? And if you do that, okay, this is my promise to you, my knowing. If, if and when you get to that point where you are tuned to a certain extent, especially tuning to Gaia, okay, to her reverberations, you are going to come to a place where the fire from above, the light from above, is going to start coming down and it's gonna start coming through you, okay? You're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it. It's gonna be tangible, okay? Tangible. Um, you're gonna feel it in your head space. You're gonna feel it in your heart space. You might feel it through your whole body at times, okay? And it's not going to be something you ask for. It's just going to happen. So be on the lookout for that and be ready for it and, and be happy when it comes because it will come. All right, that's it for today. If you've been watching these and not liking, um, not, you know, subscribing um, at least, please, please do those two things for me. Um, there's a really a push right now to, to start getting, um, getting out to more people. So, um, my own tuning is, is reaching a place where it's hopefully tuned. Um, and so now is, now is the time is what I'm hearing. Now is the time. Um, please, please do some sharing if you feel, you know, uh, if you feel like you have the energy for that. Um, and of course, any comments are helpful. Um, you know, positive or great, um, negative, probably not helpful. <laughs> but if something's not working, uh, do let me know that. Um, so that's about it for now. You can reach out to me. Um, boy, sounded sounded very Michigander there. Oh, um, I'm not that far from Canada, y'all. Uh, <laughs> In any case, you can reach out to me on Instagram. I am uh, wandering underscore scholar writer on Instagram. You can reach out to me on Gmail. I'm thinking stump dot north news at Gmail. All right. And uh, that's it for now. Sending you love and peace and just all the light you can stand. Sending it your way right now. <laughs>